Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Dumb Blondes Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I am Andrew. And I'm Zagard. And this is our 40th episode at 40 hours. It's a sign, ladies and gentlemen. This is no coincidence. Yeah, it's a sign to give up. Yep, yeah, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately, Christine isn't here. She's she's under the weather. She's like really sick. So uh, wish her the best, please. Like she wanted to be here, but she couldn't. It's too bad. And speaking of stuff that I don't have a segue for this. Let's use this summon we haven't used yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like God, the way it, he it, summons. It looks like we're in Win Winnie the Pooh's world, doesn't it? Sort of. Yeah, yeah. a with little the, bit. With the greenness of the grass. God, imagine if it was adult badass Bambi. I know, I wish. <laughs> yeah. This makes me think uh, there might be a plan for him in the future, because they did that with Simba and Mushu. Well, they were originally going to put, like, Lion King in this game anyway, so... Uh, what am I doing? There's magic everywhere. Just use magic. <laughs> I've seen... I've never seen any information stating that. They were going. I've seen some. Um, like apparently they didn't have good enough tech for the transformation, so they put Simba in as a summon instead. And then in Kingdom Hearts 2, when they did have the tech, they put it in that. Oh yeah. At least you can spam magic thanks to yeah. uh, Bambi. How long does he last for? I until that thing runs out at the top. What thing? The thing that is now gone because he is gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> there were there were there's a summon gauge at the top. Hey, I said the word right. <laughs> okay. I bet I don't remember the summons that well. Yeah, well. We have now used every summon. So that's So contextually it will always make sense. So, yes, and we also we also beat the Hundred Acre Wood, so everything that happens in Kingdom Hearts 2 fits with the story now. Speaking of, since Christine's not here, this can I, I can actually bring this up because it won't be a spoiler for her. Um I, I didn't realize until very recently, as in today, <laughs> that you remember Kingdom Hearts 2? You remember how you get the Timeless River? Yeah. And how that's time travel? Yeah. That fucks up with their time travel and dream drop oh, distance. Oh, doesn't it, though? It's a, it's a different kind of time travel. It's still Through time doors and... Yeah, but, I don't know. <laughs> but they said time travel's only possible if you don't have... If you're not... If you leave your body and... Look, if we start... Okay, to quote Looper, if we try to explain it, we're gonna be here all day with straws and napkins. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Now I have another reason to watch it. it. It's pretty good. The thing is, what annoyed me was after I saw it, I was like, yeah, that was pretty good. I'm glad I saw that. But then I heard everyone going, oh, it's the greatest movie I've ever seen. And I was like, where are you getting that? Like, if you think it's the greatest movie I've ever seen, you've ever seen, please explain why in the comments, because I legitimately, I legitimately want to know. I legitimately want to know. Oh, there's know an why. item to pick. Yeah. Ah. I think you can just. I'm walk. looking for the one chest in this area. There's, you know, there's been yeah. one chest in every area. Yeah, I, I figured that's what you're doing. Um, okay. I'm gonna assume um, it's gonna be on a high up place. Yeah. That sounds about right. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Uh. Ba -ba. Man. Welcome back to the Dumb Blondes platforming! Imagine if we had Glide and Hump... Hump, hump Jai. Hi, hump Jai. <laughs> high Jump back when we were playing Agrabah. I'm so sick of this, I'm gonna start humping everything. <laughs> hump Jai. Okay, still no damn chest! Uh, it might be in the next area, but glide, glide all over this yeah, area first. Uh, like, I can get a good view from up here, and I am not seeing a chest. Yeah. It's probably in the next area. Yeah. Ugh. No, no, not that. Yeah, one. I know. I'm just looking there, just in case. Fat Bandit. That's literally its name. For those of you who don't know, those uh, bandits are just called bandits, and those fat bandits are just called fat bandits. Okay. <laughs> well, way to get creative on those names, there, SquareSoft. Well, it's kind of like uh, 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 what do you call it? It's kind of like those people, like Fat Earl in gangs. You know what uh, would be funny and, and interesting? In Dream Drop Distance, or 
if like there's a Kingdom Hearts game where you have to go back in time, the Square Enix logo should say Squaresoft. <laughs> that would be interesting, but they're not gonna do of it. Of course not, but wouldn't that just be like attention to detail? <laughs> not really, because it's yeah, I, not part of the I game. Know, but it's still funny. Like Birth by Sleep should have opened with Squaresaw. <laughs> Okay, yeah. where the hell is the, uh... The, uh I'm gonna assume it's up on the ledge on your right. Yeah. Nope, I was wrong. You fool! Oh, well, no, technically I was right. you were right! Ha, ha It was up on a ledge on my right! <laughs> Blaze, Jim. But you're still a damn fool! You ever notice the windows look like keyholes? Yes, I have noticed that. What's mm. with the carpets up here? They're magic. But they're not purple. I don't know if you've ever read Fables, audience. I know Zagard hasn't. Um, but uh, there's... Uh, they've got... Um, in the world of Fables, like, each, like, fairy tale kingdom has its own world. And there's, like... Well, not... I'm sorry. Country. There's a whole country for Arabian Nights, and they have flying carpets there. And there's a war where, like, there are people riding flying carpets in a battle, and it's just... Awesome. It is so awesome. I cannot recommend that series enough. I was about to say I wish there was a Fables video game, and then my dumbass went Wolf Among Us. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. I guess what I mean to say is, like, I wish there was an action RPG Fables game. Probably never gonna happen. Probably not, yeah. Fables is really good, though. I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> You're promoting the wrong subject. Next it's people just are... so good! I'm sorry! Next people are gonna be saying, where's all the Once Upon a Time love? No, fuck that! Okay, why can't I stop watching that show? Wh why can't I? It is not a good show anymore. Why am I still watching I still think it's okay. <laughs> it's just not as That good. Underworld season pissed me off. Yeah, the Underworld <laughs> season was kind of annoying. They didn't do Her Megara, Me Megara or, or Hercules Her well for the movie versions. They just got... Or even really the mythological versions, like... Yeah. I, they, I don't they, know if... I suppose I should avoid spoilers, but... Hercules really should have been able to handle himself against that one particular thing. Yeah. <laughs> he should have. Considering in both myth and movie he was able to... <laughs> Yeah, it, it doesn't make... Ooh, AP up, we need yep, that. Yep, yes we do. Um... Yeah, I agree. It is... Uh, Look, I loved Once Upon a Time Season 1. It was great, but... I'm sorry, it's just been getting worse and worse. I don't know, how's the current season? I didn't watch this week's episode. Okay, how were the last two? Uh, let me think how I thought of the last two. The first one, there were some good and bad parts to it, like the last season, and the second episode was... I guess I could say better than the first one, but two episodes doesn't mean much to me. If they have one really good episode in the season, I might say this is a good season. Uh, I'm still gonna watch it, because I'm me, and I can't yeah, stop watching I'm shit. the exact same. But, uh... I... Once Upon a Time Creators, please, come on. Yeah. I think they're just trying to get to the end at this point. Uh, or drag it on, I can't. When you see the first episode, you're gonna be like, Are they trying to get to the end, or are they trying to drag it on? I can't tell. One show that I think has actually gotten better with seasons, and a lot of people are going to disagree with me here, is Game of Thrones. Um, and I know you can't really weigh in because you're still on, what, season three? Yeah, at the very beginning. Okay. But I know a I lot know. of stuff, like... But one of the main reasons for what I'm saying is, like, more battles, more amazing graphics, more dragon and zombie-related stuff, you know? You know, basically the stuff you've been waiting for. More of it. <laughs> Well, here's the thing that I, uh, I've i seen from, like, just small clips I see when I watch YouTube videos when people, like, talk about it. Because you can't avoid people talking about a show they like online if you're going to be online. Especially stuff like Game of Thrones. Yeah, so, I I mean, I just blame myself, but I don't really care. I'm, I'm the kind of person who usually doesn't care about most spoilers. Yeah, this was an issue with our friendship early on. He didn't know that I did care about spoilers, and he accidentally blew a few things for me. Yeah, it's okay. I've forgiven. 
Now I just try really hard not to spoil stuff. Which I appreciate. Um, but anyways, uh, from what I've seen is the one improvement of Game of Thrones, and this is an improvement in all shows, when it's already good and it keeps going... Ah, oh, I can't fly. Because you're not actually in Neverland. Yeah. Um... You can't fly, you can't fly. <laughs> you can't fly, you can fly. Sit down! <laughs> and, sh and there will be no talking! There will be no talking aboard the pirate ship! That door just spawned. <laughs> yeah, what the hell was that? <laughs> I, um, okay, fine. Whatever. Oh, different parts of the ship are just opening and closing. That's what it is. Uh, oh no, they close when you start a fight. Yeah, that's what Got I it. thought was going on. That that makes it just the way it, the model just appears. Yeah, it just. <laughs> oh, fine, fuck me. Ah, there's the chest. And no enemies, that's weird. Anyways, the yeah. thing I was saying about Ooh, Game I of Thrones... I found a shield. Okay, what were you saying? Uh, Goofy, yeah. Uh, Mighty Shield. Hey, it's strong. Way small. Oh, I forgot to equip Genji shield. I got this at the Hades Cup, remember? Yeah, yeah the Genji shield. <laughs> well, this is better anyway, but it's worse defense, but... Because it's way A small. lot of strength, though. Uh, I'll I think we were going five, for... five, I'm doing this. Yeah, I think we went for strength. Um, I don't know. Look, it says fist, basically. Yeah, it's just like an extension of a fist. Um, anyways, so... Uh, Game of Thrones... The thing is, the show was already good to begin with, and the acting was already good to begin with. And with a show where every, I think you can jump up there. Yeah, but I think that's the way out, so I'm just gonna look for more enemies real quick. No, yeah, that makes sense. More EXP. Um... What was I saying? Yeah, I guess that was all of them. Uh, char you, you get attached to the characters, and yes, they die... But the good thing about that is, is when the story gets more interesting, you are more invested yourself. So, in the end, even though characters you loved died, you have more of a reason to watch it. Because it's not just like, oh, they're the heroes, they can't die kind of thing. It's You man, have the fear. Yeah, you're like, I, I, I don't know who could die. And then like Daenerys, I, I've already heard she basically goes crazy later on. So you could never, you could always assume, like, this character I love might become evil, or a character I hate might become good. Or, like, with, uh, what's his name? Joffrey. There could be someone worse than Joffrey. Yeah, there's been someone about on par, I would say. Yeah, I, from what I've heard, people say he's worse. I would say he's on par. Actually, hold on. The thing is, if, if he were king like Joffrey, then yeah, he'd probably be worse. He hasn't had that much power, is the thing. Uh, okay. I still See, I spoiled the main story points, but I still don't know everything, so it, it will still be yeah, interesting to so, me. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I recommend you see it. A lot of people are mad because apparently, and I haven't read the books, so this is why it doesn't bug me, but apparently the show has been straying from the books lately, and hey, I get where you're coming from. I've seen... Really bad adaptions of books I yeah. loved. Cough, cough. The Percy, Percy Jackson, Jackson series. Cough, cough. <laughs> uh, I knew exactly. But, like, so I haven't read these books. I just enjoy the show. I really like how it's been lately. Um, but I haven't read the books, so I don't get to really weigh in in that regard. Uh, oh, okay. yeah, this is the... Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Fight. Yeah. Uh, anyways, what we were saying about Game of Thrones, we, uh, I think it, uh, probably makes it more interesting, less kind of, oh, it's just a show every week, no one will die, because no one ever dies, but because anyone could die, like Ned Stark, and I get, I'm gonna say spoilers... Probably should have said that five seconds ago. <laughs> I'll put it in the title or something, I don't know. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say Chernobog, the Spoiler King! Oh, no! He's infected us. Okay, God, um... I feel a little bad that Christine's gonna miss this, but she can always watch the episode, I guess. And she's played the game. That's true, she has. I know. I just... Uh, I'm a sucker for her. I, I don't like doing stuff without her. Oh, well. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, wait. Ha <laughs> ha, you were wrong. Stupid, stupid. I actually looked it up online and I knew this was coming. You up. knew this was... You let me sit there and make an idiot out of myself. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> did. 
<laughs> you son of a bitch! I, I thought I was hoping I'd get this reaction. That is why. But Chernobog is coming up, so he's yeah, actually okay. Next. There it is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, what I said earlier. <laughs> But slightly if more. If this angry. isn't Chernobyl, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, but real quick, just uh, Game of Thrones, good show. People could die. We thought Ned would be the hero in the season one. Spoilers: he gets his head chopped off. Don't lose your head. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> Don't use your head. Here's some red cake. <laughs> Here's a red velvet cake for that next episode that's coming. <laughs> that's just a messed up thing to say. Yeah, other quotes. Uh, um, song from uh, Fantasia. Uh, uh, um, is, uh, uh, um, uh, um, shit. Let's just uh, do the fight. What songs are in fan? I haven't seen that movie in like ten there, years. There are no songs. It's just all instrumental. I know that, but I was trying to. It isn't Chernob. God, son of a. <laughs> you knew. You knew. You knew this wasn't Chernobog. Yeah. God, if I wasn't playing an extremely non-violent, I'd kick your ass right now. <laughs> Over this? <laughs> Over giving you general surprise? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. God, I said earlier, if this isn't Chernobog, I'm glad I didn't complete that sentence. <laughs> hey, no, you owe us now. You owe us. I didn't say I'd I do know, anything. I'm joking. Okay, yeah, I remember. There's, this part always confused there's me. Like, there's something... Ah, there's the chest. That's what I was looking what for. What does it say on there? Let's find out. Ones born of the heart and darkness devoid of hearts ravage all worlds and bring desolation. So, uh, that means heartless attack I'm, stuff. I'm guessing this is a heartless creation chamber. Probably, yeah. Jump up, let's see if we can see more of it. No. Seize all hearts and consummate the great heart. All hearts to be one. One heart to encompass all. Now, Rita so they create Kingdom Hearts. That's okay. What now Rita is Mickey Mouse. Seize all hearts <laughs> and consummate the great heart. All hearts to be one. One heart to encompass all. One ring to rule the ball. <laughs> I, the similarities are okay. Realize the destiny. <laughs> The realm of Kingdom Hearts! The great darkness sealed within the great heart! Oh, gosh! <laughs> Goofy, I don't pay you to talk! Oh. Progeny of darkness, come back to the eternal darkness! Redundant, much redundant. <laughs> For the heart of light shall unseal the path. At first it sounds like he's doing some evil dark <laughs> magic, and I'm just imagining evil Mickey going, <laughs> Yeah. Ha-ha, motherfucker! <laughs> Seven hearts, one keyhole, one key to the door. The door of darkness tied by two keys. You just said there was one key, and now you're saying there's two. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get... That's one part I don't get. Oh, I think what he's saying is, um... I know he's saying that the seven pre princesses open the door to darkness, and that you can seal it with the two keys, yeah. but why does he say one key to the door when there are clearly two? Uh, he's saying one key to open the door, two keys to close it. Yeah, okay. The door of darkness to seal the light. None shall pass but shadows returning to darkness. Ones born of the heart and darkness hunger for every heart until the dark door opens, huh? And more shit shows up. Is this supposed to be Hollow Bastion? Cause yeah. It's weird that they put in the Traverse Town part, but I like it. What Traverse Town part? Remember, you were just in Traverse Town. I, no, no, this is still Hollow Bastion. This is, uh... Oh, that's right. Sorry, yeah. the hallway always looks like... Yeah, I, I, I see where you're coming from there. But, uh, yeah, because that's the same kind of tile they had in the, uh... In Hollow Bastions, uh, the area where Beast could break the gates. Yeah. That area. That, yeah, okay. Okay, so... You have to go to that red swarming thing. Yeah, that's what I came out of. No, so not that. that. Was... In the right. Go to the right. Yeah. To the right. No, I don't. Oh, never mind. I think I do have to come out the way I came. That's how it's been for a few of these places. Oh, yeah. I remember there was something to do with that part, though. 
Well, maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know. If there is something, maybe we'll come back. <laughs> now it's the Chernobog fight. Is it? No, it I is. don't trust your fucking face. I, I remember because the Chernobog fight, you fall down. <laughs> How do I know I won't jump in oh, there? Oh, wait, no, this might be the oh, Heartless battle. No, that's after the Chernobog fight. Then this is probably the Chernobog fight. Alright, so now we're doing this. Because the Chernobog fight doesn't send you to a. Uh, 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 in a portal. Yeah, here we are. I remember you jumping in a hole. Oh, uh, yeah, here's the Doom Mountain music. Da -na, da -na. I remember when I was a kid and I first saw this, I was like, what is that? Is that is that, that thing from... It is that creature from... Oh! And I was just so... I yeah, love... as a kid I saw this creature, and here's the thing, I hadn't seen Fantasia in a long time, and I knew I'd seen him before, yeah. but I didn't know where. I was like... Where the hell have I seen this guy? I knew as soon as I saw him. I just never knew his name as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course. I don't think anyone did. Especially because in the actual movie, they just straight up call him Satan. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was. I don't think they called him Chernabog until 2000, the Fantasia 2000 movie. I guess, yeah. If they said anything at all in that, I don't remember. Well, he wasn't in that. See, they they replay. I know they replayed the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Did they replay Doom Mountain? I can't completely or, remember. Not not Doom Mountain, it's Bald Mountain. Why am I calling it Doom Mountain? Uh, and I'm dead, here. <laughs> I got too cocky. Did you see how cockily I was fighting him? Yeah, you're like, hey, 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 you're hey, gonna hey, take hey. it, bitch. Uh, I'm gonna equip Oathkeeper for the magic. Of course. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, full disclosure, I didn't know Chernobog's name by heart until you fight him again in Dream Drop Distance, which again, I loved. Yeah. I want that world back in Kingdom Hearts 3. I hope it's back, but I, I don't see okay. anything. Of all the worlds I want to return, that is number one. What's yours? Okay. Uh, return? Yeah, returning worlds. Non-Kingdom Hearts worlds? Yeah, Meaning, Disney, uh, worlds. Disney worlds. Uh, either, uh, either that one, or... Honestly, I do want Aladdin to come back just so they can do Aladdin 3. You really like... I gotta watch that film. I hear so many good things about Honestly, it. Honestly, when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, it's not because it's a great film. It's just because they've done 1 and 2. <laughs> and now and you're inner completionist ones number 3. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, it's not a great Disney film. It's just, as a Disney sequel, it's pretty good. And... Uh... Oh, of course. <laughs> I keep the music goes. Yeah, perfectly. it does. <laughs> I do re really like the the Chernabog part of Fantasia. I think it's my favorite part. I just turned up the music, folks. So if it sounds the music sounds louder and we sound louder, that's why. Yeah, that's because the music deserves to be turned up right now. Yeah, I can barely hear it. It's annoying. Me. I also love that you can fly during this fight. Yeah, it makes sense though. Chernobog is like gigantic. Oh yeah, of feet. course. But you fought gigantic stuff in this game without being able to fly. Yeah, but he doesn't have to be. Thank God for all those aerial combos we have. Which are and that you can use them. Or, I don't know. Actually, do we? Hold on. I know we have aerial combos on. Yeah, I, don't know. I see. You using, I see you using some of the spin attacks. You know what I kind of wish? What? That you could attack his wings. I can't use thunder while Yeah, if you could, like, attack his wings or something. If, like, he had an attack where... Not an attack, but, like... You know how he covers himself with his wings and it becomes bold? Uh, yeah. Like, what if he did that at some points and you had to attack the wings to get him to break them open again? That would be interesting. Hit you, please. Like... Um, if he does come back, I'd like to, like, people are saying, like, well, you fought him twice already, what can they do with him? I'm like, well, you could put his minions in. He has tons, he has a whole army in the, in the film. Oh, I still didn't die, so I still have tanks. Wow. She healed me a whole bunch, though, so I thought I could die. Yeah. I think Donald might have been here, too. I might have been here. Well, you're gonna beat him. My glory, it's gone! 
level. I finally killed a boss since... Yeah, redemption! <laughs> and on my favorite boss in this game, so... He is an awesome boss. And you get a really good ability. You know what pissed me off was I really wanted to get, like, a little statue of Chernabog, because he's a big epic villain. And I love villains. And I found a really cool one online, but it's like $600, so I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. I'm not surprised it's six hundred dollars. It's well, it's not life size. <laughs> Actually, if it was life size, dear God, but you know Super what I glide. mean. Super glide, and that is the last shared ability. Sorry, abilities share. Uh, yeah. Now you press square to use that. You mean like in Kingdom Hearts two and every Kingdom Hearts game thereafter? In Kingdom Hearts two, don't you just press circle to glide? I'm pretty sure you press square. I don't remember. I like how you can still fly. Well, because, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but in Kingdom Hearts 2, I think if you upgrade dash enough, you can use it in the air. No, that's Birth by Sleep. Okay, I guess I'm thinking of Birth by Sleep. Because I remember I tried to do that in 2 and could not right after playing Birth by Sleep. Yeah, you're probably right. Square is probably to glide in that, because in that game has double jump, which this game doesn't have, so yeah. that would be the circle in the air thing. Can I, can okay. I, I yeah. think this is the... That, that's the way. No, I'm saying I think this is the whatever fight. You mean leading? It, it's, you're it's not leading, adding yet, yeah. but you're heading to it. I yeah. like this, this right here. Just the destruction. Just yeah. showing it. Is this a particular world, I wonder? I think this is a culmination of worlds. Yeah, is it me, or did one of those places look like it could have been from Dwarf Woodlands? Um, I think you're thinking of this part, because that's what I was thinking, too, when I first saw it. Yeah, it could be. could be. It also made me think a little bit of Halloween Town. Or maybe this, because it's such a small door. Maybe. It's so hard to say. Yeah, and we'll be, you know, trying to figure this out. In the next episode of the Dumb Blondes Play, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Hey everyone, it's Zaggard here. We just beat Chernobog, and I am the Demon Slayer. And I love it. I love the song, I love the fight. Chernobog is just an awesome character to fight. I will put the link to uh, MP3 of his song somewhere in the description, so long as I remember. And if you like the song, click that like button, and if you want to see more, Click that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the comments.